little uh, West Hollywood uh, Boys Town action tonight. St. Felix, the spot for tonight. Let's get into our spotlight, speaking of spots. Uh, photographer Timothy Allen travels the planet for about a year and a half, captures some of the coolest photography, stories. That's the stuff that makes up the great BBC Human Planet program. And we thought, let's sit down with Timothy, and he's got to have a lot of stuff to tell and some great images to go along with it. It's our spotlight. If you climbed a mountain and there was a guy living on top of the mountain, you knocked at his door and said, can I come in and look around your house? He'd probably go, what do you mean? If you carry a camera, he's like, yeah, come on in. Hi, I'm Timothy Allen. I was the photographer on the BBC's Human Planet. We turned the cameras on the human species. We traveled around the world for about two and a half years. We traveled to over 80 locations in more than 40 countries. We shot humans living in exceptional circumstances. In particularly, we focused on their relationship with their surroundings. There is only one creature, one species, that lives everywhere. Us. Wherever it's possible to survive on the Earth, humans have made a home. I was commissioned to document as much of what the BBC uh, film unit were doing and as many of the stories as we possibly could. Yeah, we got a lot of incredible shots in the two years we've been filming this. But honestly, it pales into insignificance compared to the lengths to which the people we were filming went to do what they did. Walking for a week down a frozen river, crossing the Mekon River in the middle of the monsoon on just a wire just so you can get your catch home. Some of the shoots we did were dangerous. In the Central African Republic, we filmed some guys that gather honey. They're Bayaka tribesmen who basically scale these incredibly tall trees. And to get those shots, we had to climb the trees ourselves. Obviously, the Bayaka, they climb using literally just a piece of liana, which they sort of wrap around the trunk of the tree and shimmy up the tree. And these were 40 meter trees. I mean, they're incredibly high. Whereas we, the BBC, brought a whole crew with us. We had a rigger, a rope access expert, who basically shot a line up into the tree, rigged the tree. We then be laid up to the, get to the top. And in fact, they were laughing at us, you know, really. The amount of gear we had, and quite rightly so. Sure, the language barrier is there, but there is definitely a point where that disappears, and the language barrier means nothing, and that's normally where a, a smile comes in a smile, wide, big open eyes, that's when that comes into play, and that's the same the world over. There was a young girl, her name was Mazza. You know, she lived the life of an old lady, but she was only four, you know. And I spent two weeks with her, but we never shared any single words together. The whole relationship was based on eye contact and smiles. We encountered smiles everywhere we went. We all share a common humanity. There's no question about it in my mind now. We have a very simple needs in life. We're looking for food. We're looking to get laid, so we can have offspring, but also you know, for a bit of fun. And um, we want to look after our children. We're compelled to do most of the stuff we do in the world for these few very simple reasons. And, and it's about staying alive. And um, the world over, people are the same. Timothy Allen, thank you, and thanks to the Discovery Channel and the BBC for providing the footage from Human Planet. Be sure to check it out April 10th, 17th, and 24th on Discovery. Music tonight from the Hotel Cafe. We'll be right back with Sarah Lee Guthrie and Johnny Irian after this.